Alright, welcome back. Now the dungeon's done, we can... Yeah... I should have seen this coming. Yeah, so I'm going to do a few side quest things and edit the video out, so I'll see you then. Alright, we have Tarn here, and basically, yeah, he wants the stick that I got earlier from the monkeys. Oh, that's bad. Man, that Tarn can sure can run. Okay. And that's the next item on the side quest. I will see you at the village. Alright. There's a few things that I have to do here before uh, going to the actual desert itself. First is going through a basic dream sequence kind of a thing. This is one item that you need to get uh, in order to complete the game. <laughs> These creatures, I think they're called ducks. They don't even look like ducks. But they sure are easy to kill. Alright, let's see... And this fox up here is... 100 rupees, that's nice. You can come here earlier and get the 100 rupees, but the only way to get the uh, next item is only after you beat Dungeon 3. And you get the Ocarina! Yes! This is the first game that actually had an Ocarina. And call it that, basically. But basically, you need this, uh, you can, it says, learn a few songs. You can only learn three. And the first one you have to learn is the Ballad of the Windfish from Marlin. Marlin, or whatever. I can't remember her name. And now it's a duet. Yeah, and the Battle of the Windfish is always a cool song. Yeah, I think I'll only play it once. <laughs> Basically, when you get to the Windfish Egg, you need to play the Ballad of the Windfish and all the instruments activate. Which is pretty cool. So I will see you at where we need to go next. Alright, let's see, it should be nearby right now. Yeah, okay, basically there's this bush you need to cut down. The only way to enter it is only after you beat, again, Dungeon 3. Now you can go to, I think, about 50% of the map now, once this is open. You least need to beat Dungeon 5 and Dungeon 4. But anyways, this is Animal Village! I like the song in this place. It's calm. And this... I think it's a bear. Basically, he needs to honeycomb. And you can trade it for a pineapple. And basically, yeah. He's uh, describing that there is somebody sleeping in front of the entrance to the desert, and we need Marin to uh, take her over there and sing to him, and then he will leave. We'll do that, uh, but first, there 
is the second warp pad right here, which we will use in quite a few after we talk to this stupid walrus and see if he'll move out of our way. Hmm. Yeah, see? Giant walrus block blocking the way. Yeah, see, there's little pictures of Marin on there. So basically, he will not wake up until she sings a song for him, and then he will literally roll over into the water, and you'll never see him again. Hmm. But anyways, we have to go find Marin. Luckily, we know where she is. In town. Hmm. But let's see. I'm bored. Uh, wait. What the hell? She's not here? Damn it. Hey, you. Oh. Okay, then. <sighs> I know where she is. It's always at that beach, isn't it? But, other than that, this segment has gone by pretty fast. Not much done. Besides so getting Ocarina and developing more plot points. Other than that, we are not all that much closer to the dungeon until we move that damn walrus. But, she's down here, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya!